Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lori and I am a doll artist. If you've never been here before, welcome, welcome. I highly encourage you to subscribe and hit that bell if you like dolls and things like that, art. Um, and if you were able to join me last week when we had the Repaint Society's Doll Art Collective, Hello Dollies, which was based on movie musicals, inspired by mo movie musicals. That was a really fun show. If you haven't seen it, you can go back one episode and watch it. And there might even be a few dolls left. Uh, most of them sold out, but there's still a few that ended up on eBay. And uh, you can check it out and see if there's any available. I'll put the link below for you. So anyway, welcome back. I hope everybody's doing really well. I am here showing my doll entry for the Hello Dolly show, Taryn Egerton as Elton John in Rocket Man. I loved that movie. I thought Taryn was brilliant and I was sad that he didn't win the Oscar for it. To be honest, I thought he deserved it. I can't remember who won that year, but <laughs> I thought it would, I thought it should have been him and just a personal opinion. But the movie is so fun, and uh, like I said before, I think I mentioned it in the last video, I really didn't know a lot about Elton John until I watched that movie. And I know that there's some of it is just like glam and glitz, but I didn't really know his story at all. I didn't even know he didn't write the music. I, I think maybe I heard it, but I don't. I didn't pay attention. But, I mean, he writes the music. I mean the lyrics. Cause he has a. He has a partner who writes the lyrics and has been since he was really young so a uh, great movie go check it out and of course if you want to see how this doll is done in real time I have a five episode series on my patreon page of real time work on this doll so make sure to head over there if you're really interested in how I created him uh, I know you can see a lot of it here, but you, you know, I explain everything in depth over there. So that's where you'll find that information. I have some really fun videos coming down the line here soon. I was able to do a commission on a Trinity Designs ink doll. She was just absolutely beautiful. I even did a tiny unboxing so you can check her out. Um, she's new, so it'll, it's really fun. She's a 16 inch doll, very, very beautiful sculpt. So I can't wait to show her off. I also made a wig for Tina Turner that I'll be showing the process on because I got a new clay and it is just amazing. So I can't wait to show you that. Let me think, I have several other things coming. Oh, I also did a repaint on a Disney Descendants Eevee mini styling head that was a mouthful <laughs> but that was really fun and i will be showing that coming up soon so i have several things coming that i hope you guys will like to see of course if there is anything you would like to see um, please make a comment below and let me know and i will do my best to get that out there like i said i'm making a wig for a tina turner and it was something I was doing for a commission, but also a request on how I make wigs. There's a little bit of wig making in this video coming up too. So I just made my wig cap with the new clay for the next video, which I will highly, highly recommend. And as always, I will list all of the products that I used in this video down below. And if you have any questions about anything, don't hesitate to ask. I'm always happy to answer questions. So since I am painting Taron Egerton, I thought I would talk a little bit about him. He's just adorable to start with. Um, his birthday is November 10th, 1989. He's a Welsh actor. He is the recipient of a Golden Globe Award and has received nominations for a Grammy Award and two British Academy Film Awards. I'm pretty sure he was nominated. No, he wasn't even nominated. I think for an Oscar, which was like, what? Born in Birkenhead, Birkenhead, England, Egerton began acting at age 15 and graduated from the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art in 2012. 
He gained recognition for his starring role as a spy recruit in the action comedy film Kingsman, The, Sur the Secret Service in 2014. Wow, that's a big jump from graduating 2012 to 2014, already having a movie. And its sequel, Kingsman, The Golden Circle in 2017. I mean, he was immediately a star, right? He's, he's fantastic. He has also starred in several bi uh, biographical films portraying military officer Edward Britton in the drama Testament of Youth 2014 and the titular Sky Jumper in the sports film Eddie the Eagle. I actually saw that 2016 and singer Elton John in the musical Rocket Man 2019 the latter most of which earned him the Golden Globe Award for Best Actor, Motion Picture Musical Comedy. Um, he learned how to play the piano, and he was already a singer, but he had to learn how to sing like Elton. It's pretty amazing. I saw on a video uh, when he went in to do the scene from Crocodile Rock, which is the scene that um, the doll is based on, that the director knew that he was it was going to work when he performed that not in the movie, but you know, as a practice or a rehearsal, but there was no question that he was the right guy. Um, it's amazing. He's an amazing, talented, he's an amazingly talented actor and he's super cute. Elton. Well, let me start over. Sir Elton Hercules John C H C B E is an English singer, songwriter, pianist and composer collaborating with lyricist Bernie Topin since 1967 on more than 30 albums John has sold over 300 million records making him one of the best selling music artists of all time Sir Elton was born March 25th 1947 he's 74 now in Pinner the United Kingdom. His real name is Reginald Kenneth Dwight. There is a lot about Elton John, obviously, in the movie, so I highly recommend that you watch that. Rocket Man, it is a musical extravaganza as well as really informative. So check that out because I didn't know a lot about him and I thought it was really good. Here's a couple of fun things about Elton John that you might not know. He was one of the last people to share a stage with John Lennon. He performed in the Soviet Union. His glasses were originally a prop. He needs them now, but at the time he didn't need them for corrective vision. They were just for fun. He met Topin through an ad, which is really funny. He was a mentor to Eminem. I didn't know that. That's not in the movie. He performs grunge. In addition to rap and hip hop, Elton has also performed with the grunge rock band Alice in Chains, appearing on the song Black Gives Way to Blue. The song is a tribute to the band's late lead singer, Lane Staley. Hmm. He's a South Park star. <laughs> Proving he has a sense of humor, Elton was once a guest star on the animated comedy South Park. He appeared as himself on the season on season two episode Chef Aid. Godfather Elton, known as a kind and giving man, it is no surprise that Elton is a godfather to numerous children. Included in this list of children are David and Victoria Beckham's children, Elizabeth Hurley's, and John Lennon's. Father to two sons. In addition to being a godfather, Elton is a dad to two sons named Zachary and Elijah. The children were born via a surrogate mother to, in 2010 and 13. He owns six homes. Wow. All over the world. Sir Elton John, Queen Elizabeth II, bestowed the ultimate honor on Elton when she made him a knight in 1988. Concerts galore. Elton is a true workhorse showing an amazing resolve. He has performed more than 3,500 concerts spanning over five decades. Okay, so let me kind of catch up to where I am now. I'm adding just a little bit of facial hair and um, I'm using a makeup sponge to kind of take away some of the excess paint so it's not too strong. I mean, it should be very, very barely visible. So 
After that, I took some Pan Pastel and I just kind of buff over a little bit to make it even less. You know, I kind of want to blend it in to make it look like it belongs there. So next up, uh, this is where I started to pattern out the shirt. And I do this with just Saran Wrap and some cheapo masking tape that I get from the Dollar Tree. Both of them act well. No, I think I get the I get the uh, Saran Wrap in a huge roll at, at Walmart, and then I just pick up the masking tape at the Dollar Tree, and I just draw what I want it to look like and cut it out, and that is my pattern, and it really works well because it's the exact size of the doll. So. I have patterns, I've followed patterns before, but for me it's challenging because I really don't know how to read patterns. So if I just make up the rules, it generally works out for me, generally. But because I have never made a shirt like this before, I decided I should probably make it out of muslin and uh, make sure that it's that it, it fits before. And which is a good thing because I used a Tonner doll body that I had and it was actually for Harry Potter and I assumed I guess that it was the same size as the matte body that I was you know my doll was but it was not it was a slight bit smaller so <laughs> that didn't work out and I ended up having to do some adjustments but because I made it um, before I used the good fabric uh, I was able to fix it and uh, it all worked out just fine. I needed a little bit of extra fabric in the back. I needed to cut the holes out around the arms just a little bit bigger. And when I put the sleeves on, I definitely had a little pinching in the back of this shirt in the corner over there. But I was able to adjust that so that when I made the shirt in the good fabric, this fabric here, it all worked out just fine. So I don't have a very big workspace. I, I really, this is just a little tiny place that I work on. You can see my little doggy back there. That's Maui. She passed away in 2017. So um, I painted for a week. I painted on rocks for her, her little uh, memorial. I just, that's how I got through it. Anyway, this is um, the pants part. And again, I made this in the muslin to make sure that when it, was made in the real fabric, it would work fine. Now these are the glasses that I printed out. I did it first, I first, I tried to do it in some transparency, but it wouldn't print in white. So I ended up printing them on paper and you know, working out the size and how I wanted them to look. And then um, I printed them in transparency so I would have the lenses in the middle, so. Everything seemed to work out okay. Those are the pockets. And then these pockets, I actually learned this on YouTube, how to make the pockets round. So uh, I cut the, I just drew them out. And that thing over there, that little template there, if you pin that down to your, your fabric, you can just sew around the edges and then draw string it around so that it makes like this per perfect U. So that worked out fantastic. And uh, so that's what I ended up doing. And I did, I looked it up on YouTube and there was a tutorial on how to do it. So I'm kind of showing how I do it just really quickly. Usually that top part is sewn down already. Um, I guess I made a mistake there because I'm starting over, but um, I think I got a tangle. So I just, you just go around like that really quick and loose. And then you just pull it so that it will you know, go around the, the template and then you just take the template out when you're done. And, uh, at this point I didn't finish because I got a little tangle again. So I just sort of stopped because this was just a demonstration. I had already made the pockets and I had, they didn't film. So I re I redid it, but see, there's the pocket and it's a perfect little oval. There's the transparency paper I used to make the, um, glasses. I just showed that briefly. And then I've got my big thing of saran wrap that I wrap around the head. And this is the part where I'm making the wig. Now I just use some hose that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. And then I just tie a rubber band around it. And uh, since I can see through the hose, I just painted the Mod Podge where I wanted it. You know, where you could see the hairline. 
then I dry it with the and I keep going but the thing is is that it's never going to fully dry you have to let it sit overnight because it's so many layers I just dry it the layers kind of lightly just enough so I can paint another layer on top you know one after the other then I'll just leave it overnight to be done and I used mohair to make his wig I had dyed his hair previously but it didn't work out the hair was just not looking I mean the dye color was good but it was too flat it didn't look right on him it kind of made him look like Prince Valiant instead of you know Elton John didn't have a good shape so what I'm doing here is I'm making wefts and I'm just doing really quickly putting a little bit of glue on the end of each one of these and when I'm done I just trim them off so I have all these little wefts which went really fast and then you just glue the wefts right onto your your the head right onto the uh, wig cap so that is pretty much all I'm doing there and I uh, love the glue that I use I'll put a link below what it is because it dries really really fast and uh, you don't have to wait you can just keep going and it's a little sticky but that's okay it's I've worked with stickier glues before and this one actually isn't too bad so once I get all of the pieces on the head I just washed the hair really good and I put it back on the head I still have the plastic over his head just to protect the repaint and I just start cutting away at the hair until I get it where I want it and oh and I love these scissors too I use those little oh I can't remember the name of them they're little gold scissors I'll link below but um, they're absolutely fantastic I actually need to order some more because I go through these glasses they're so tiny and they're they're embroidery scissors they're perfect for dolls so once I get the hair cut the way I want it I just went ahead and pulled the whole thing off and then took the saran wrap off and then put the wig back on and at the end I just will um, glue it down permanently so these are the glasses and I put the paper over the transparency and then I used Mod Podge to uh, to smooth it all out and make them look like glasses but um, I did order some glasses that are going to be printed that I'm really dying to see so now I've got the boots and what I'm doing with these these are some older boots are really hard to find tonner boots anymore so um, my friend Monica sent them to me and she told me um, how to paint them so that it will stay and I used acrylic leather paint and um, in a, a beautiful metallic silver and then I use a metallic blue to paint the stars on there I believe it's a metallic blue it's a blue color and then for the platforms I use that really cool foam clay that is for cosplayers and I picked that up at Hobby Lobby and now what I'm doing is I'm just sort of cutting away the edges to make sure they're sharp and then I'll go ahead and paint all of that as well I didn't paint the zipper in the back um, I left that alone this worked out pretty good and the foam sort of matches you know the what the what the boots were already made of at the bottom so there are the stars I can't remember if they're metallic or not they might not be metallic I think they're just solid or blue but it was like the perfect color blue so now I'm making the base and I took um, I bought a stand at the Dollar Tree and I painted the bottom gold I took off the stand part it just unscrewed and then I made that part look kind of like a record the uh, so it's just gold acrylic paint and then um, blue in the middle to make it look like a record because I thought that would be really cute and then I printed out Rocket Man and I Mod Podged it right on the front so that it would uh, you know be a pretty stand with another wooden base at the bottom so I just attached that and then I just went ahead and painted right over it with more Mod Podge and I did several cuts to make sure that it stayed well and then I put like kind of a, a diamond iridescent paint around the edge and uh, screw the uh, stand part back on so that it was all ready and then that is it guys I will see you guys next time for the next video I hope you have a great weekend bye see you Friday bye